In this video, we delve into the world of dissociative identity disorder, DID a condition that is often misunderstood and misdiagnosed. We will explore the causes of DID, the symptoms that a person may experience, and the different treatment options available. We will also discuss the importance of seeking professional help and support for those who are struggling with DID. This video aims to raise awareness and understanding of this complex condition and provide hope for those who may be affected by DID. Let's begin. Emily was a young girl who had a tough upbringing. She lived with her family in a small town and was always struggling to fit in. Her parents were strict, and while they tried to do their best, they often had difficulty understanding her. Emily had always been an introverted child, but she was also very sensitive and had a vivid imagination. She often found herself in her own world, dreaming and escaping from the realities of her home life. When Emily was only nine years old, she experienced a traumatic event. She was playing in the woods near her home when she came across some older boys. They were teasing and taunting her, and before she knew it, they had sexually assaulted her. Emily was too scared to tell anyone, and from that point on she kept the horrible experience to herself. The trauma of that experience stayed with Emily for many years. It haunted her, and she was constantly reliving the pain and fear she had felt. She began to develop dissociative identity disorder, a mental health disorder caused by severe trauma or abuse. The different personalities that emerged allowed Emily to cope with the pain and fear she had experienced. She could go into one of the personalities and feel safe, while the other personalities tried to cope with the world around them. Each personality had its own unique traits and quirks, but they all had one thing in common. They were all Emily. Dissociative Identity Disorder Coping with Childhood Trauma Dissociative Identity Disorder DID is a condition in which a person has two or more distinct identities or personality states that alternate. DID is often associated with severe childhood abuse, and it is a way for the mind to cope with traumatic experiences that are too overwhelming to process. For many individuals with DID, the first sign of the disorder is the presence of dissociation, or the disconnection from emotions, memories, and surroundings. As a child, dissociation is a survival mechanism that allows the mind to detach from the traumatic events and protect itself from further harm. However, as the child grows older, the dissociation becomes more severe and develops into distinct identities or alters, each with its own personality, name, and set of memories. One of the primary alters is often called the protector, which takes over when the person feels threatened and tries to keep them safe. Another alter, called the child, relives the traumatic memories and feels the pain that the person has dissociated from. These alters can be triggered by different stimuli, such as certain words, phrases, or situations, and can cause confusion and distress for the person experiencing them. For those with DID, the process of understanding and coping with the disorder is a long and difficult journey. Many individuals struggle with the concept of multiple personalities and may have difficulty accepting the diagnosis. Therapy is often the best course of action, and the goal is to help the person integrate their alters and understand the traumatic experiences that led to the dissociation. Cognitive behavioral therapy, talk therapy, and various forms of body-centered therapy such as EMDR can be effective in treating DID. Medications may also be prescribed to help with symptoms such as anxiety and depression. 
It is important to note that DID is a real and valid condition, and people suffering from it should not be stigmatized or dismissed. With the right support and treatment, individuals with DID can learn to cope with their dissociation and traumatic memories. If you or someone you know is struggling with dissociative identity disorder, it is important to seek professional help. Remember that healing is possible, and with the right support, individuals with DID can lead a fulfilling life. Thank you for listening to this podcast.